Hi, Hermandas Petrauskas here, creator of the local trade copper for MetaTrader 4 platform. Now in this video I want to demonstrate how fast the trade copying technology can be. Now the please know that local trade copper is an EA based trade copper, which means that uh, there should be expert advisor running at all times so that uh, the trades can be copied. And now in in this demonstration we can see how there are three MetaTrader accounts running. Now, at the top, we have MetaTrader 4 uh, for the master account. And right over there, um, at, the, at the bottom left, we have client account from the same broker, GBA Brokers. Those are two demo accounts. And then the third demo account is from JFD Brokers. And now I want you to close, uh, to pay close attention to the trades that are being copied. And as you can see, those are kind of the same trades and the master account is, has this special EA running that I have just custom programmed. And it opens pending orders, uh, five buy stop orders and five sell stop orders every about five seconds. So it places 10 pending orders in total, and after five seconds, it deletes them all and places new, uh, you know, streak of five, uh, 10 pending orders. Now you can see that the client EA uh, of the same broker, or the client EA of a different, bro you know, on the different broker like JFD Demo, is copying very fast. And as you can see, it takes kind of, you know, one and maybe two seconds for all of those 10 trades uh, to kind of be exchanged for the new ones as it happens on the master account. Now, to, you know, please take into account that uh, not everyone is using such trading strategy, you know, placing that many trades that fast. Uh, so maybe you just place trades like, you know, once a day or maybe a few times a day or even a few times a week. So this test is kind of way more um, uh, than you would need to see, actually, because this test kind of shows how uh, how trading EAs like trading scalpers and so on, you know, uh, that place a lot of trades and do it fast. How can they work uh, with the trade copper? And as you can see, it's extremely fast. Now let's try to um, try to take a look, sorry, try to take a look at one of those accounts. And as you can see, here is the client EA shows me the execution delay detected during all these uh, all this copy trading. Now, so far, I have po uh, copied quite a lot of trades, I must say, and uh, the minimum was the seven uh, nine milliseconds, and the maximum was four hundred milliseconds. So I would say it's a very very good latency, taking into account that I I'm you know working on the computer right now, connected to my Wi-Fi. So I'm not even on my Ethernet connection. I'm not, you know, I'm not have any internet wire plugged into my computer. It's a Wi-Fi. So if you want to make it even faster, then you might be considering, uh, you know, plugging your computer in the Wi-Fi, uh, I mean, into the Ethernet connection. But in my case, it's a Wi-Fi and it's still copies very, very fast. Now let's take a look what are the, the delay times for the GB brokers because it also depends on the broker as well. And now we can see the minimum is 62 seconds and the maximum is 819. So the average is 94. So that's, you know, the most trades are copied like in 100 milliseconds and so. And you can see that it happens, you know, everything happens so fast. Now, I want to uh, also explain about that maximum delay. So you might expect delays of, uh, you know, uh, more than averages. And it depends on your internet connection. It depends on a lot of things, basically. So 
It could be the brokers delaying the trades. It could be that your internet connection is not good enough, or maybe using VPS that has not very decent internet connection, or maybe your computer is located like in United States and your broker is in Australia or maybe somewhere in Asia, and you know there's a quite quite far distance for internet um, like connection packets to travel. So it might take a, you know a second or so. And then, uh, you know, maybe that's the time that sounds like a lot for copy trading. But basically, if you want to improve it, you need to make sure that you have as much as possible, like, you know, the best connection possible you can get. So if your Wi-Fi sucks, uh, you know, plug a wire like internet connection wire into your computer and connect directly to your router. And if if you still get, like, uh, bad internet connection, you know, like uh, bad latency for copy trading, you should take a look that it's maybe not not your internet connection. So you need to to see what the latency is on your uh, on your client. Let me just drag this window up right there. And if I click my uh, left mouse button right away there, uh, I will see what are the connection latency to my to my broker server. So in this case, with the GB brokers, I have like 40 milliseconds. That's very good. If you see something below 100 milliseconds, it's very good. I, I must say, you know. But if you if you need something better, if you like one of those red traders with some. Uh, high frequency trading strategy or whatever, then you should look for even better connection. But you know, if you're someone that just trading occasionally, then below 100 is a perfect internet connection. And I would say uh, below 500 milliseconds is quite a good internet connection. I would consider it, you know, not much improvement there is needed. Now let's t try to take a look at what GFD has to offer in this uh, I mean, what internet connection latest I have. So, yeah, um, it's more interesting situation here. So, GFD brokers have a few servers, and I can see one is in uh, Asia, I can take a guess, um, and it's 430 milliseconds. I wouldn't consider it very bad if I just, you know, make a few trades per day, but... Uh, I could connect to US server, that's 196 milliseconds from there. But of course, because I'm in Europe, I choose the best internet uh, latency with the server from GFD brokers that they have in Europe, which is 40 milliseconds in my case. Now, of course, this happens automatically. You don't have to do anything. MetaTrader will just find the best connection possible and just connect to that server. Like it's called like data center. Let's try and see what will happen if I connect to another data center, uh, like in Asia. Let's see if I will get. Yeah, I I have reconnected now. Let's see what. You can see that everything is much slower now. As you can see, each and every trade. Uh, and it's, you know, obviously I will have like skip trades now because the uh, the trade copper is not even able to copy all of the trades that fast as they are changing on other account, you know, on the master account because of the latency. And it has huge latency now. So it's, you know, it's not the trade copper to blame actually. We can see that average latency now is uh, 500 milliseconds. So it's like two trades per second maximum. And it's because of the internet connection uh, latency to my broker server. Now I can, I can reconnect back to my European server, like data center. And we can see that, you know, the connection improved immediately. And now all of the trades will be able to re recop as fast as they happen on the master account. So that is how important internet connection quality. So if your trade copper is not copying fast enough and you think that 
you need you know you need to do it faster first take a look at your internet connection now if you make sure that your internet connection is perfect and you have a perfect um, uh, latency to your broker server like you know 40 milliseconds 100 milliseconds or, or you know or even one millisecond there, there are the cases that you can get VPS uh, close to the broker servers and get one millisecond latency but if you see that you know in this case you still get huge delays then you should look at your um, you know speak with your broker maybe they delay your trades on purpose like if you are regularly like news trading and trying to scalp news uh, especially on fixed spread accounts then sometimes brokers delay trades on purpose I've seen this with my own eyes um, I know one a friend of mine showed me how how he trades news and how the broker delays the trades for him so and if, if that's not the case then you should try task manager when you open the task manager and you can see you know just see how how is your computer performing like in my case right now i have like 60 to 70 percent cpu load like sometimes it's 80 i'm gonna say it's quite a lot uh, but you know the trades are still going uh, trade copying still goes well but I must say, on a VPS, if you see like 70 to 80% CPU load, I would consider to upgrading to a better, you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of on the edge, you know. Don't wait until you reach 100% CPU load. And uh, as in terms of memory, 80% is in use right at the moment, but I would say it's quite okay, you know. But if, if it was like 90 or 100%, that it's kind of where a trace can... Um, I would say that it, it's possible that uh, uh, it's possible that trade copper and slow down by your you know computer lack of memory. So another important thing to mention is that your trade copper might be slower because of this quite well known glitch on the MetaTrader four, uh, as it cannot work on a on a 60-bit computers. So if you have multiple cores, MetaTrader automatically kind of tries to work on all of them. Um, let me find the terminal exe. If I go to details and I scroll down to find this. Yeah, here we go. So three MetaTraders over there. Now, if I go and choose set affinity, it opens this, and you can see I have eight CPU cores, and MetaTrader, like all the other processes, automatically are set to work on all of the, uh, all of them. Now, on the regular, like laptop and desktop computers, and dedicated servers, it's not a problem and everything's okay in this place. But if you're using VPS, then you will fall into this kind of virtu virtualization thing and the MetaTrader will work very slow. You know, it might work very slow and it's not, you know, it has nothing to do with the trade copper or whatever EA you are using on the MetaTrader. It's a problem from MetaTrader that it's kind of cannot work between multiple CPU cores. Now, in, so in this case, you wanted to um, unselect all CPUs on your VPS. Remember, it's just, it's just for VPSs. And you choose CPU zero and click OK. Then you go to the next terminal exe and do the same, like CPU zero and click OK. And then for the third one, you do the same. So all the terminal exe should be set to use the same uh, CPU. If just one of these terminal exes will be set to use um, any other CPU, uh, I mean, uh, I mean multiple CPUs. Then this will not work. So all the terminal exe should be set to the same CPU. Uh, so you just go with CPU zero, for example. So this is very important. So this can fix the trick. And if this doesn't help, 
So maybe you are just running too many MetaTrader platforms. So just try to get rid of, of one or two MetaTraders, you know. I've seen people like with the simple VPS servers that can handle full MetaTrader platforms the most. They kind of try to run like eight MetaTraders. It's way too much for that VPS server and you just can't do that. So it's very important to understand how much um, terminals your VPS can handle. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. I've tried to make it like in two minutes, but it seems <laughs> it's more than 10. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the other videos. Bye.